Oh, what a panel. Um, and so we're going to welcome on stage for a few final thoughts. We have Saul, we have, we're, going to sta we're going to be standing here. Um, we have Saul, we have Brian Schmidt, we have Tawakal Carmen. Uh, yeah. And so continuing a little bit on the, the, the theme of optimism, so, you know, the Nobel laureate um, Dan Kahneman, uh, he's a, he was very famously very optimistic, and I think a lot of laureates are optimistic, and this is, this is an interesting phenomenon. And uh, a journalist once asked him, you know, why are you so optimistic? And he said, I'm optimistic because the future is created by optimists. And I'd like to, where do you all find optimism given the challenges we have today? Well, for me, when you have hard problems, they, they are interesting to solve, but they are necessary to solve. Going through and not trying to solve problems is is, is, is futile. It, it is admitting defeat, and it's not fun, it's not interesting. And so going out and trying to solve climate change, stop nuclear proliferation, get people educated so that they can be responsible, that's fun, it's exciting, and it's useful. So what's the problem with doing it? It's the only sensible thing to do. <laughs> Because my belief in people, I really have this great optimistic and because of my belief in the new generation and I saw that in my country while I was alone and people told me that you will be alone, you will die alone, nobody will follow you, nobody will believe you, but then students being in the street and chant the same chant and we were together on traveling the dictator and we did it. So the same thing now, I believe on those new generation. Everywhere, everywhere. I saw this new generation demonstrate hundreds of thousands in the United States, in Europe, in Asia, in Africa, in Arab region. All of them, they are calling for justice and for stopping dictatorship. So those, 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 generation who will, you know, make, create the solution. So I believe that those will be the leaders of the future, the change makers of the current. And you have to really, really to consider yourself as this. You have to create change now and you have to lead the future because there is no leadership now. Really, there is no positive leadership. Those leaders cause all this mess. So you, if you create yourself educate yourself to be the one who will create the solution, believe me, you will, we will make this world is a better place. And promise me, they will make the solution. I really believe that. Yeah. But you, you may have gathered something what I think about this uh, <laughs> from the conversation. I, I'll, I'll just add that um, I, I do think that the, when you talk to people, and when you, on the rare occasion that I get to talk to somebody who is completely out of my bubble and, uh, and where I would have thought that I just couldn't understand how they could possibly um, believe the things they believe, I discover that you, you talk to them, you always that they're not that different from me. And they, are, they have all sorts of reasons that I think are just you know, mistaken for believing some things they believe, but they are people who fundamentally, if we all were talking to each other a lot, we wouldn't be coming to very different conclusions. We would be likely to be trying to figure something out together. And so I feel that sense of optimism because I, th I think that we just haven't used our communication technologies. We haven't used all the things we now know can go wrong or go right when algorithms control how we, how we talk. We just haven't used them in positive ways yet um, that will allow us to take advantage of the fact that most people are actually you know, reasonably able to work together and to talk together and work together. And I think that's where the optimism comes from, that we just have to find the ways to turn that back on again, um, or turn it on for the first time if we haven't done it yet. So I'd like to now 
say some thank yous. I mean, I think this has been an incredible evening, but I'd first like to thank our other, other guests, uh, Dobby and, uh, and Megan and Love you. Tim and Love Verity. You. Love thank you, Tim. And I'd like to thank our hosts, UNSW, you have been amazing, and the team here, uh, uh, led by Ione and Alice, absolutely incredible team. And I'd like to thank the Nobel team as well, who, who are all down here. So a round of applause for, for Nobel and uh, UNSW. And I'd really like to thank Brian Schmidt, Tawakal Kalman, and Saul Perlmutter. Thank you. For this evening. Thank you. 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 Thank you.